Okay, so here's an overview of genetic engineering. So this example, we're taking a gene of interest from a eukaryotic cell. We're going to use the example of taking the gene that produces um, insulin because this is actually done in this manner. Um, so we're going to say that this is a human cell that is being harvested. Uh, it's growing in a little dish in culture. And this is the gene of interest. We're going to say this is the insulin, the gene that produces insulin. And so over here we have our bacteria. So bacteria have one big chromosome. And then some bacteria have a little circular piece of DNA called a plasmid. And they, in this um, picture, are continuing to use the word plasmid. I had said you could kind of use them interchangeably, plasmid or vector. So in this instance, um, they haven't gone to it in detail, but <clears throat> they've cut the plasmid with a restriction enzyme. And they've cut out the gene of interest with the same restriction enzyme. And they've inserted that gene into the plasmid and they've glued it together with the ligase. So this is now called recombinant DNA. And then they've treated the bacteria, uh, um, another bacterial cell, um, and they've had it take up that, um, that rec recombinant DNA. Okay, so here we have the plasmid now with the inserted gene of interest. All right, so now the next video is going to be what we do then with this bacteria um, that has that gene of interest in its plasmid.